welcome back fellow gamers this is dire cross and we are here with episode number six and on our last episode we discussed how we did not have enough blaze rods as well as spider eyes and brown mushroom to continue to cure our villagers um, so that we could keep getting a discount yeah so we have fixed one of those problems today and if you can see behind me again um yeah we have a blaze farm in it this thing is running just quite nicely look at all those blades that are in there and they just keep falling down so this design is uh i'm not sure who made it um, i've seen many people using this lately um it is the new technique using the fact that lava now pushes uh, the mobs that are fireproof obviously um, in the nether just like water does in the overworld uh, for the farms that we do there so yeah we can come down here and we can farm up and build a whole bunch of blaze down here get our blaze rods get plenty of that uh, also this is a great source of xp for um, mid game uh, uh, definitely not uh, early game but mid game farm um, because lays do give twice the amount of xp that mobs do so it uh, yeah that's a great way to get xp for us right now until we go take on the ender dragon and uh, you know we get ourselves an elytra and fall damage is the thing that we have to worry about so much uh, that way we can build a um, gold farm zombified piglin gold farm up there on the roof of the nether they yeah, definitely don't want to fall off there I did make ourselves a nice little salt generator here for while we were building this so I'll take it down and move it where it went. got a bunch of stuff here that I got to take back we've got even more blaze rods and I've got a whole bunch at the house already so uh, grab a couple of couple of things and, um, head back to the house uh, the next thing on up on the menu for today is to make ourselves a uh, blaze head. We're gonna make ourselves dragging myself. We're gonna make ourselves a armory place to trade with the armor uh, villager. Get ourselves a buttload of diamond, not diamond, emerald. So that we can keep trading with our librarian to get in those books. So yeah, that is next up on the menu for today. And uh, we're going to put this stuff away and we will get cracking on that. Uh, but before I show you that, uh, we've also not only have we solved our blaze problem, Blaze rods and blaze powers that we can keep going. We've also solved our problem with the spider eyes, and uh, I will take you take quite a quick nap first, actually. First, but uh, I'll take you over there. Uh, I remember the triple um, spider spawner that we found. Well, we uh, went ahead and Took care of the, or not took care of it, but uh, built ourselves a farm out of that, and uh, dangerous out here. So uh, we'll, we're gonna drop down here, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So here is our triple fighter farm. Uh, this is our regular one here. This one's just our regular spiders, and it works all right. Um, you know, for being just a regular one spawner, it works pretty neat. Um, although the rates are a little bit on the slow side because it is just one. 
But this one, this one is the champion of our champion. Uh, 90% of actually all of the spider eyes that are at the house right now came from just this one here. And uh, because this one is actually a double, there's a spawner over that way as well as a spawner over that way. And uh, I'll take you inside using the replay mod right now. And uh, you can see that spawn, that first spawner, one of the spawners, and uh, over this way is the other. And they get funneled to this uh, tube here. They do get kind of caught up sometimes, but uh, usually they push each other around and get to where they're supposed to go. Um, only a block and a half high, so they're usually, usually touching the water. Um, not only is, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, but they do get piled up here pretty darn good. If we wait here for a minute, you'll see that they pile up pretty quickly. And, uh, compared to the normal one over here, uh, they pile up a lot faster because, well, two spawners can uh, spawn quite a bit more. Um, so we got the chest for loot down here, and um, one of them. Four. So this is all the loot that this single spider spawner has done. I haven't taken anything out of that chest yet. Uh, out of this one, I've emptied it once now. Uh, what you saw at the house is what was gotten out of that. Um, so, and uh, yeah, these guys will just pile up right here. And uh, very nice. It uh, works pretty quickly. Um, we can also close these up. I guess there's some trick with these that I saw. They can see through the blade, but they can't get to you through them. So they target you, and that's why they come up there. Um, and the XP is supposed to come through this stair here on top of the soul sand, but I don't know why it's not. I don't know. I don't. I didn't follow the design exactly. Maybe why. I don't know. So anyways, uh, whatever, it don't matter, it works well enough, and I have other sources of XP, so I don't really need that. But yeah, you can see that there is quite a few fighters in here right now. Uh, yeah, this is the champion of the spider farm, so we're probably going to take the normal one and turn that in. Uh, one where they just fall down on magma, flex with it. Right. Keep these two for their player killed for a little while at least. That way I can keep these spider eyes coming for as long as I need them. And once I no longer need spider eyes, we will transfer this over to uh, being just a string farm as well. Uh, because that we're getting heads left and right i've got like a half a or not i think i've got a dozen spider heads at the house already so all right now what we're gonna do we are now what we're gonna do we're gonna start ourselves a time lapse we're gonna get a armor
and welcome back from that time lapse as you can see we have ourselves an armory built back here and it is looking pretty decent i would say uh, i did inset it into the wall uh be a little bit more than i should have uh, but uh oh no, i kind of like it uh, looks like it was built into the cliff and they oh they said through it and didn't even finish part of it right there or i just forgot to do it Yeah, one of the two happened. But anyways, uh, you know, uh but yeah. <laughs> it uh it, it's working pretty good. Um I I'm yeah. But uh yeah, we've got ourselves uh eleven workstations in there and I think we have uh nine or ten actually working. Not sure why they like to pile up at this door. And yes, that is correct. These are Jungle trap doors and they're green. Uh, I have a resource pack that turns them green. I like that color a little bit more. So, yeah, it's just personal preference. So you'll be seeing that on the channel. Um, so whenever you see a green trap door, it is. So now we can come in here and uh, oh, let, let's see. This guy, he's only a journeyman. So let's, let's give him. Some iron, and now he is maxed out. So, not even. Well, he's not quite maxed out because forgot about the end. All right, so what's he got? Uh, efficiency double. We're just gonna use guys. Oh yeah, gas But yeah, we can come in here and we can get rid of a ton of our iron that is backing up all the time i actually gotta go make better um storage for our iron farm because it backs up daily and i have to empty it out like for five chests over. but yeah we are going to get emeralds on at an astonishing rate now uh, as a matter of fact, uh, before this video started, I only had about a stack and a half of emeralds. And now, we are sitting at 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and a half stacks of emeralds. Whatever. 7 and a half. But yeah, we are sitting at uh, seven and a half stacks of emeralds now. So that means we are going to be able to get some massive trading done with our librarians up there. Um, but before we do that, we've got to get some more in there trades that we want, um, which means that we have to, uh, well, our villager breeder is just going buck wild. Matter of fact, they are. There's so many in there that they are glitching through by the corners of the glass and getting out. Um, but we all, we need to get ourselves a new uh, zombie back in. Yeah, because uh, our other one, fortunately, I think I said this in the video where I was doing that, but uh, unfortunately, that one. Uh, well, I actually died, and I ended up picking up all my armor, sword, and things like that, and I had to uh, kill it off to get my gear back, so, yeah, it is what it is, and we will make do and get ourselves another, kind of why I have this tunnel here, we're going to build a little platform out here, maybe a dark room, um, and we'll get ourselves another and it won't take long but uh, yeah so we are all set up a lot of trading but i think that this is where i'm going to call it for the day i'm before i say my goodbyes though i am going to apologize for the last couple of videos um 
the quality of the video. I had switched over, I was trying out the stream element for OBS, um, that recording software, other than instead of just using regular OBS, and uh, well, I didn't have it set up properly, and uh, the, the encoder was, uh, was using the wrong encoder, so it, it, the videos were not, I mean, my videos aren't the highest quality videos uh, are ever made, but uh, they weren't even to the quality that I like, and uh, I realized it after the, after I had recorded two in a row, so it was too late, I needed to release those, and um, I recorded them back to back before I even edited the first one. So that is what happened there. But um, we should have it sorted out now, and we should be back to the regular quality that we are used to here on the channel. And uh, uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep putting out some videos, and hopefully in some quality. Uh, also, on a side note. I do have a couple recordings of Among Us where I played with some friends of mine that uh, play on the Voidcraft servers, um, as well as friends of theirs. And uh, if you would like to, well, I'm probably I'm going to release those uh, here. I'm going to cut out some of the the real good matches where uh, you know entertaining, funny or whatever. And uh, we'll release those here eventually. But we're still going to try to keep doing Minecraft once a week. And uh, keep this street going as best as we can. So, with that said, it is actually Monday morning, 8.07 a.m. And uh, I want to get this video out today. So that means I have to go edit this video. So... We are going to say our goodbyes now. So if you like what I do, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And if you really enjoy what I do, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching these videos today. Uh, I will catch you in the next episode. Bye.